We have seen a number of challenges that really came with COVID-19. What we do for IAE Peer in collaboration with our Bangkok office, we support displaced students, Karen students from Myanmar who most of them really grew up for all of their life um, at the Thai-Myanmar border. And what our team in Bangkok does is they help students prepare for admission. They help them apply to university and get these students into great host institutions with full tuition waivers. And we know that otherwise these students would not have had the opportunity and the logistics support to do that. But of course, as in the United States, a lot of these universities where we place students in the region they closed their doors. For many of them, they they are struggling with even the, the travel documents. They can't just simply buy a, a ticket back to their home country if you grew up in a, in a refugee camp. Luckily, I will say that some of the students, uh, even if the university closed, the dorms didn't close, so they stay in the dorms. I think mentally that can be challenging because most of the other students go and leave and, and you're basically one of the few who is left in an otherwise uh, really abandoned dorm. Also, for those students who were able to earn some income, thinking about uh, the other scholarships we administer, especially in this case, the IIE scholarship for Syrian students, although they are on a full tuition waiver and full scholarship for living expenses, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't ever need any additional financial resources. And we have seen that grantees who, for example, would work over the summer where they're not able to do these jobs anymore because they don't really exist anymore. So, and again, they very heavily rely on those full tuition scholarships, including living expenses, to even be able to go and study. So in a situation like this, it really poses both a mental, but then also a real financial challenge and hardship to the students that we are working with. I think every Everyone is in one way or another impacted negatively by COVID-19, but these students are really facing sort of like a double challenge. Of course, we can't really address all of the concerns around COVID-19 that they may have, but at least we do try to address the, the financial concerns of the grantees that are on one of the student emergency initiatives programs. Mm -hmm.